So now I'm measuring her pupils and what you want to do is you want to aim your light at their chin and then just slightly tilt it up so you have a nice glow of their face and use a pupil gauge so you can measure them exactly. So I am estimating her right pupil is eight and a half millimeters. Her left pupil is also about eight and a half millimeters. Actually, her accommodation's relaxing. Yeah, about eight and a half millimeters. And they're both round. Then I'm going to do the direct light response. Here I'm going from no light to light to watch the pupil constrict. I'm making a mental note of the briskness or latency of the response, meaning sluggishness, either whether it's brisk or sluggish the minimum size, and the size that escapes to. I do not have to think millimeters here at all. I'm simply making a movie in my head of what I see. Because I'm going to then take my light away from OD, give her pupils a moment to recover, then I'm going to go to OS, do the same thing, and I should see the exact same movie replayed. Awesome, they're both equally brisk, they both constrict to about the same size and relax to about the same size. Remember when you're checking pupils, you're looking for symmetry. In the normal pupil exam, you'll see the exact same thing in both eyes. Now I'm gonna do the swinging flashlight test. This is to check for an afferent pupillary defect or a Marcus Gunn pupil. In this test, the timing or cadence is critical. I want you to spend about two to three times as long on each pupil as it takes to shift. You're going to quickly shift between the two eyes. It should take you less than a second to get from one pupil to the other. And what I teach techs to think in their heads is this. A thousand one, a thousand one, a thousand one, a thousand one. This is the proper timing and cadence. I'm spending two to three times as long on each eye as it takes to switch. I'm switching very quickly, and what I'm looking for here is I'm looking to see if there is any dilation when I swing over. Neither people is dilating. Both peoples constrict slightly and relax slightly. That's what you want to see on a normal swinging flashlight test. You definitely want to make sure you don't see any dilation when you swing over there. And remember, you're looking for symmetry, so both people should be doing the exact same thing.